Pisces. What is going on? Okay. Pisces, this is going to be your reading for the next 48 hours. What is going on with Pisces? The next 48 hours, Spirit. What messages do we have? We're going to take a look at what is going on for you, Pisces. And if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. Okay, Pisces, let's get into this. We have the Hierophant. Okay, there's something that you're learning. There's some kind of spiritual awareness that you're becoming more aware of. Uh, this could also be you learning new things, Pisces. In the original right away, the Hierophant sits in between two pillars. The pillars of obedience and disobedience. And the Hierophant wants to go the right way. He wants to do the right thing. And he he's a very spiritual being. This could also be you tapping into that spiritual side of yourself. Tapping into that higher self. The Three of Swords. Yeah, I see why you're doing this now. Okay, we have the Ten of Cups. Okay, we have the Ace of Pentacles and the Judgment card. So definitely, there's some kind of ending going on here. There's some kind of heartbreak. There's some kind of situation that you're going through. But you have new beginnings. You still have happiness, Pisces. And I feel like you're going through some kind of recovery from this heartbreak. Temperance. Exactly. Okay. The Four of Wands. And the Ace of Cups. Whoa, something big is going on for you in the next 48 hours, Pisces. Wow, you're coming to some kind of revelation. Um, I feel like, Pisces, you're also going to get some kind of communication coming through. Someone's going to come to make you an offer. This is someone coming in to send you some kind of message that's going to really bring you uplifted. It's going to really give you a lot of hope for what's coming next. Beautiful energy, Pisces. Okay, let's get into this. Like I said, I feel like you're really tapping into your spiritual side. You're really learning something new. There's something that you're going through that's really teaching you some type of lesson. Some type of lesson where it's taking you more spiritual. You're looking to your guides for, for help, for advice, for guidance. You know, and I feel like whatever this disappointment is, it's not going to last for long. You have so many really good cards in this reading. I'm just really that this three of swords isn't doing much of anything. This is just disappointment. This is something that you were really hoping for to come through that's maybe being delayed because I feel like I feel like this isn't heartbreak. This is disappointment. This is. You just feeling down, down on yourself. If this is heartbreak, Pisces, I feel like you're getting past this very quickly. You're recovering very quickly because you know your healing is here. You're still feeling balanced. Okay, Pisces, we have the Ten of Cups. So something is making you very happy, very overwhelmed, very content in the next 48 hours. You're going to have a lot of happiness, abundance of happiness. You also have a new beginning coming through. This may be new, a new beginning in a job, a new beginning in some kind of offer that has been made to you. I feel like you're accepting that offer. 
You're going for what you know, Pisces, and you're going in a very strong way. You have the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. So there's an abundance of wealth and love coming your way within the next 48 hours. Okay, I'm loving this, Pisces. I feel like with this Judgment card, you are going through some kind of renewal, a rebirth in a way. You're moving away from the place where you've always been and you're trying new destinations. You're working on yourself. You're, you're doing this in a way that is bringing you a lot of hope for the future. A lot of wisdom is coming your way. This could also be you tapping into a sort of wake-up call that's bringing you closer to what you're meant to do and which path you're meant to follow. Um, but I feel very strongly that this card is some kind of judgment that is definitely going in your favor. Definitely moving in your direction in a very strong possible way. Like I said, with the Three of Swords, you have the Four of Swords. So I feel like you're really focusing on your recovery. This is you really resting, feeling that rejuvenation coming through your body, through your soul. Um, you're, you're focusing on yourself. You're focusing on your patience, your healing, feeling more balanced. You're also in perfect harmony with the situation, with the temperance being right underneath the Ten of Cups. I feel like harmony and resolution is definitely coming for you. Um, look at this. We have the Four of Wands. There are celebrations in your honor. Someone is honoring you with some kind of celebration, some kind of get-together that is where very well accepted because I feel like this is happiness you're being joyful with the temperance on one side the ace of cups on the other you are filled with love your cup runneth over Pisces I feel like this is a lot of love coming your way this may be a new love offer coming your way like I said with that uh, page of cups at the bottom someone could be coming towards you with some kind of invitation to uh, offer some kind of date or to just go out and have coffee to get to know you better uh, but someone is very interested Pisces in the next 48 hours you're going to see this person really initiate some kind of conversation Okay, what else do we have for Pisces? What's coming in for Pisces the next 48 hours, Spirit? Give me more messages. What is this? The Queen of Cups. Definitely love coming through. Someone's feeling very supported. Someone is being nurtured in the situation. And I feel like this definitely could have something to do with that love offer that's coming through with that page of cups, ace of cups. Um, but this person is very loving, very caring. Uh, the queen of cups, she's also very intuitive. Being a cup, being a water sign, this could also be your energy Pisces. You could also be in this energy of feeling very loved at the moment, feeling very supported, going through your healing, Definitely, definitely. Now with the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles, I knew that there was a new beginning coming in for you. But this is very strong. This is a strong indication that something new is coming your way. This is a new adventure. New possibilities. Taking new action on something that is going to make you very passionate. Very, uh, a lot of abundance. Look at this. You have a new beginning in love. I feel like you're going to take this love offer, Pisces. I feel like you may have been waiting for this love offer. This is love coming in in a very strong way. And I feel like it's going to bring you a lot of happiness. A lot of joy, renewal, 
this is a rebirth in your love interest the three of cups so definitely definitely i feel like you're surrounding yourself with people you're being supported and this could also be spirit and higher powers supporting you and lifting you up during this time um, but i feel like you're overjoyed you're taking complete control of the situation pisces you are the emperor you are the creator of your world of your life and i feel like you're taking power you're taking your power back you are striving to achieve your goals and i feel like the the emperor he's also an entrepreneur he can also manifest anything he sets his mind to and i feel like that's what you're doing you're manifesting something in a very strong way this is powerful look at all these major arcanas in this reading you are very powerful at the moment and the next 48 hours you're going to have a lot of opportunities a lot of options coming your way now it's very important not to not to fall into this daydream not to lose focus on what you are trying to achieve with the seven of cups as well pisces because with the seven of cups it does give you opportunities it gives you many options but it also gives us the opportunity to daydream to kind of lose focus on what it is that we want so stay focused stay grounded don't put yourself in a situation that's going to give you too many choices because having too many choices is something that will kind of deter us from our path um this could also be you committing yourself to this situation committing fully committing wholeheartedly yes you're definitely thinking about the future you're waiting for results on something you're waiting for your ships to come in and with the three of wands this is a card of expansion so this can also be your ships going out so you may be sailing off into a new destination pisces but you're definitely expanding you're definitely growing in this situation it's beautiful energy we also have the five of cups so there's some kind of situation that you need to be grateful for being grateful for those two cups behind you that are still full and not worrying so much about these three cups that we've had to leave behind those two cups behind you could be very beneficial to anything that you have in progress anything that's going on in your life those two cups are full you just need to turn around take notice of what you have left and be grateful show gratitude the five of cups is a card of loss but it's also a card of being grateful for for what you have okay beautiful energy i'm really loving this Pisces, at the bottom you have the chariot. So you may, de you may definitely be moving, physically moving to a new destination. You may be looking for a new house, looking for an apartment, moving for a job, moving for love. Um, but I feel like this is definitely movement in the right direction for you. This is you following your path wholeheartedly. Um, and I feel like spirit is very happy that you're moving in this direction. You're moving forward in a very strong way. Because the uh, spirit wants to let you know that it, uh, an opportunity is coming your way that is just meant for you. It is just meant for Pisces. And whatever is meant for Pisces is going to find Pisces. So spirit wants to let you know to take notice of the offers that are around you and fully realize that some of these offers are coming straight from the universe straight from spirit straight from your higher source so take notice of the offers that are in front of you because there is one offer that is very important that you should not miss you should not pass by 
very interesting. I'm loving this energy for you, Pisces. This is beautiful. Okay, let's take a look at the monology. Let's take a look at what's going on for Pisces. Let's take a look at the monology cards. What do we have for Pisces in the next uh, 48 hours? It's time to release negativity. Yes, whatever, whatever this three of swords is whatever that is that needs to be released that needs to be released so that these bigger and better things can come into your life stay away from conflicts pisces and i know that's kind of hard because some kind sometimes conflict kind of finds you but if you find yourself in that position steer away run the end of a tough cycle approaches. Yeah, I feel with this reading, this reading has so many new opportunities, so many new journeys that you'll be going on. I feel like your your cycle is ending. The, the struggle that you've been going through is finally coming to a conclusion because luck is on your side. The universe wants to let you know that you're being rewarded for all of the work, all of the struggle that you've been through, Pisces. And now the tables have turned. The wheel of fortune is turning in your direction. It's coming to full circle for you. Your dreams need a practical plan. Yes, you may need to rethink a few things. Like I said, I feel like you have a lot of opportunities coming your way, Pisces. But I feel like with those opportunities, I feel like you're going to find that one opportunity that's very hopeful, that's going to bring you a lot of happiness, abundance. It's going to take you up to the next level. So there needs to be planning. There needs to be some kind of strategy in place. So when you take a look at your dreams, create a strategy for those dreams. Create a pathway that you can follow, Pisces. That's going to be very important. We have discipline. So it's very important within the next 48 hours to be disciplined. Have self-control. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. Definitely. You are the emperor this next 48 hours you can create any situation that you put your mind to and regret so this is another card that we need to release we need to let go of this energy release this energy um, maybe meditate contemplate on this situation uh, regret I know that I cannot change the past the past is done and over with. So whatever failures, whatever happened in the past, you're, you're moving forward from that. The past is no longer here. We're looking towards the future. We also need to release fear, Pisces. I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. So whatever this love situation that's coming through, go into the situation fearless. Go into the situation with courage, with the capacity to love boundlessly, you know, because it's going to bring you so much happiness when you do. We need to release those negative thoughts and open up our mind, our heart, our soul to happiness, to positive energy. Happiness, I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. And I feel like, Pisces, this is spirit letting you know that you are on the right path. You're moving in the right direction. Keep going. Keep pushing forward. This new journey is right around the corner. 48 hours is such a short time to wait. And I feel like for a lot of you, this is going to come to pass in the next 48 hours. You're going to see the results in the next 48 hours. See, what else do we have for Pisces? Next 48 hours, message for Pisces. Ease and grace. Finding your balance. 
finding that space in Pisces that is going to make you uplifted. Increase your positive vibration. Meditation is also very good for that. Strength and guidance. Your spirit wants to let you know that you are guided. You have the strength to push through any obstacle, any challenge. You can do that with no fear. You are capable, Pisces. You are very capable. And someone wants to speak to you, Pisces. Someone wants your full attention. They want you to listen deeply to their conversation. Take in their words. Listen to what they have to say and consider what they have to say. Someone wants to speak very clear you, clearly to you. Someone wants to speak their truth. So this is also going to be very important within the next 48 hours. Someone wants to speak truth to you. At the bottom we have manifestation. So something big is being manifested. Something big is coming into your life, Pisces. And I feel like this manifestation is coming uh, very quickly. Have boldness. Have courage. Be fearless. These manifestations, this new beginning is coming. And I feel like it's going to bring so much happiness. So much discovery. Yes, definitely Pisces. Whatever situation that you're going through, you have recovery. You are being rejuvenated. Spirit is lifting you up to recover you from any situation. So I feel like that's very important to you. And in the next 48 hours, there are going to be miracles. Miracles are going to happen. Even the smallest miracle is something to be grateful for. But miracles are unfolding for you in the next 48 hours, Pisces. Miracles are coming through. The Spirit wants to let you know to be instinctful. To use your tuition to follow and trust that the universe, your higher powers, want to guide you in the right direction. So listen closely, be aware, because your intuition is going to be very important in the next 48 hours. Something is unfolding that's going to bring you a lot of happiness, Pisces. Okay, let's get a little bit of an outcome here. I'm going to use another deck for an outcome for Pisces. Okay, Spirit, what is going on for Pisces? What outcome for Pisces, please? The next 48 hours, what's going on for Pisces? What does Pisces need to know? The Page of Wands. Yes, someone is coming forward to give you some sort of information. They're trying to contact you. Someone is going to communicate you some with you something that you've been waiting for he has his ear up to those birds and those birds are singing to him they're they're talking to him you know he's listening very closely so i feel like someone is coming in to provide you with some kind of communication that you've been waiting for for the next 48 hours we have the seven of wands so definitely, there's some something that you have been competing with. Some kind of situation has put you into some kind of competition. And you're defending yourself. You're protecting this energy. You're protecting your energy from whatever this Seven of Wands is. Um, but I feel like this situation, the communication may be something about work. It may be something about love. Uh, but I feel like this communication is going to bring you a lot of insight about your situation. What else do we have for Pisces, please? The Two of Cups. Definitely. Love is definitely coming through for you. Definitely coming through for Pisces. There's love here. In the next 48 hours, you're going to get some kind of invitation. Someone's going to offer you their cup of love. We also have the Six of Cups. 
So Pisces, within the next 48 hours, someone's going to come back from the past. This may be a loved one. This may be a family member. This may be one of your siblings or childhood friends. But someone is going to come in and offer you some kind of situation. Uh, they want to communicate with you, get back together. Um, someone that you held very fondly. You know, I feel like this is someone that you cared very deeply for. Like I said, this could be a family member, a friend. This could be a past love. But someone is coming in from your past to communicate with you. Definitely. Okay, let's see. We had a few cards fall out. So, let's take a look. Okay, Pisces, we have the Seven of Swords. So beware of that person. That we, we always have that one who likes to talk. Who likes to talk too much. Um, we always have that one person that likes to tell our business to other people. So with the Seven of Swords energy, I want you to beware of this person. This person is talking behind your back. They're spreading rumors around about you. This could be in your life. This could be at work. But I feel like someone's spreading rumors. Something is trying to take something away from you. But I feel like whatever they're trying to do, it's not going to be successful. You have the Queen of Cups energy. This is someone coming in to protect you. To talk, to tell this person to quiet their mind, to stop talking about Pisces. Someone is coming in to support you, to uplift you, where they're trying to drag you down. The Queen of Cups, she's coming in with love, with support. So someone has your back, Pisces. Someone has your back when others are talking about you. Okay, we have the Nine of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. Definitely, you're working hard. You're working hard in the situation. And I feel like this Nine of Pentacles, this is you being successful. This is you growing your wealth, growing your business. If you're in business for yourself, I feel like your business is growing. Your People are getting the word out that Pisces does a great job and I feel like it's making you very prosperous it's actually building you up he's sitting on that throne holding that pinnacle so nonchalantly you know like he's got it going on and he's got this sack of gold he's just he's just sitting in his abundance and I feel like this is you Pisces you're gonna be sitting in your abundance Watching things grow, watching things prosper, while your stability grows, while your longevity grows. I feel like this is you in a very strong way. Okay, Pisces, this is what I have for you. This is a beautiful reading. So, Pisces, if this resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And take a look at your sun, moon, and rising. I have other um, Pisces videos online. So take a look. Take a look and see what else, what other messages, Pisces. And um, until the next reading, Pisces, many blessings to you, love and light.